Hello, and welcome back to another competitive Pokemon analysis. Today we're going to be covering Mega Blastoise. Uh, it's like, it's the Mega Evolution of Blastoise, and he's just more powerful, more bulky, but his speed and HP stay the same. <laughs> I don't know why I talk about this. Anyways, uh, going back to the regular stuff, this analysis along with any other analysis will only be covering fully evolved Pokemon in their respective generations. So, no little cup stuff like that, you will not be finding it here. Uh, something I tend to do for these competitive Pokemon is that I, I kind of want to get creative on my part. Otherwise, they are from Smogon and the uh, stuff will happen there. Also, if you don't notice here for Mega Blastoise, Mega Evolutions will have their own analysis, so stay tuned for those. And uh, one more thing is that I might screw up like whenever I do these videos because I'm not the best at battling, okay? Give me a break. Give me a- okay. Alright, so I'm, I'm not being funny, am I? So if you want to, leave a like. I don't really care, but if you do, subscribe. It really helps on my channel, and uh, let's get into this. Alright, so we have Mega Blastoise here. Now, from what I see, this thing is a, a universal staple in UU. Like, this thing is crazy bulky, crazy powerful, and it has Mega Launcher. So, this thing just does a lot of damage with, like, Moves like Dragon Pulse and Aura Sphere and stuff like that. And uh, just the fact that he's bulky, it doesn't help either. He, he gets Aqua Ring as well. And uh, yeah, he can like deal with Pokemon that are like really weak. They, he can deal with like Flygon and Mega Garchomp as well. Like, <laughs> he's that bulky. He can also deal with Hydragon. God damn, why do you have to deal with Hydragon? He can deal with Hydragon. He can, he can also like go against like... Gujra for that matter, actually. So, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think we're good on that part. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, Alright, now on to the moveset. Okay, we're back. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna try not to do that again. Alright, so the the moveset that you could put on this thing, it's kind of similar to what we do with regular Blast Toys. Except these, it's gonna have a difference in power. So, Scald and Ice Beam, like, either one of those can be used. Like, Scald is to, like, weaken physical attackers. And, uh, which, which already is getting crazy on Mega Blast Toys because it's so bulky, especially on... Like, on both sides, so like, physical and spe It's more defensive on, like, the physical side, actually, now that I think about it. And, uh, Ice Beam, you have the chance to get the freeze, and if you do, it really pays off, sometimes. And, uh, Aqua Ring is, like, to keep the quote-unquote leftovers going, and it's, like, to recover HP. And uh, another move that I would like to put on it is uh, new, like on it, it's, which is Dragon Pulse. Now, essentially, the reason why I put Dragon Pulse on this thing is so that this thing could actually deal with Mega Ampharos and stuff like that. Uh, it could also deal with Cloyster a lot easier, except he's like, he's weak on the special side. I don't know. I really don't know why I actually, okay, I don't know. Another good thing to go with that is that it, al it also helps that I can deal with Haxorus a lot better because this thing has insane attack, but hey, <laughs> it has Dragon Pulse right there, right there. Also another move and the kind of the one that you expected, which was Aura Sphere. This helps with uh, Mega Launcher and uh, helps deal with Zoroark a lot easier and Magnezone, and uh, ooh, uh, that's kind of a good move to put on it. Mega Launcher helps with uh, Aura Sphere and Dragon Pulse, which, which, this makes, this makes Mega Blastoise a really big threat, actually, now that I think about it. It's like, nothing lives, nothing lives. Lucario can't even live an Aura Sphere from it. <laughs> it's like, my guy, can you not calm down, jeez. Now, another... The downsides for this Pokemon is that this thing is kind of slow. And, uh, uh, Venusaur, even, even, like, 
regular Venusaur can actually be used against this thing like really well. And uh, I know that like Mega Venusaur is like an OU, but hey, Mega Blastoise can also be used in OU, so what's up? Hey, hey, you can't tell me that I'm wrong. And uh, another thing that this thing kind of struggles with is that uh, essentially it can't really get rid of like, like, you know, it really can't get access to Rapid Spin unless you like sacrifice the move slot for it. And uh, grass types like Celebi, I know it has Ice Beam, but it really can't Oko like like Celebi and stuff like that. And uh, it's like just it's because it's too bulky. Celebi's like too bulky as well. Another thing that that's kind of crazy is that um, Champ and Crocodile can actually deal a lot of damage. Like you get that the fact that Mega Blastoise is like very very bulky, but hey, it's got it's got ridiculous. <laughs> Machamp and Crocodile, if you put a Choice Band on Machamp or a Choice Scarf, if you Scarf a Crocodile, then you can, like, get the Moxie Boost, No Guard. It's like, they do ridiculous amounts of damage. They actually might, they can, they can actually 2 co, 2 hit KO, like, like Mega Blastoise and stuff. Another thing that, that Mega Blastoise tends to struggle with is Heliolisk. And Mega Ampharos for that matter. Electric types actually now that I think about it are just like ridiculously good. And uh, like Heliolisk, it gets access to dry skin, which like really uh, nullifies the effect of Scald, meaning you can't really burn this thing. And in Mega Ampharos, even though you have like Ice Beam and Dragon Pulse for it, it's still like ridiculously powerful. It, it still eats it up really well because it's so bulky. <laughs> My guy. Shaman, Shaman is also a good, like, move to go for, like, like against Mega Blastoise, as, like, it does not like being hit by, like, Grass-type, uh, stab moves. And, uh, last but not least, Vaporeon, way too bulky for this thing. Sylveon, also way too bulky for this thing. Umbreon, way too bulky. Blissey, way too bulky. Florges, way too bulky. There are too many special walls in UU, and and these just so happen to be a few of them. And I'm actually just reading off of Smogon right now, so <laughs> yeah. It's like, geez, Last Toys does not like Wish and Protect. I'm just reading that right now, and uh, yeah, that's unfortunate. So there you have it. That is the competitive analysis for Mega Blastoise. If you guys have enjoyed this episode of competitive Pokemon analysis, be sure to hit that like button down below. Butterfree is coming up next. If you guys are <laughs> excited to understand some things about competitive battling, then hit the like button down below. Again, I don't really care. But if you do, subscribe. It really helps on my channel. And I'm going to get the heck out of here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!